Hello everyone, this is the site administrator of www.mybaseballcardspace.info and what we're going to do today is a box break recap of what I got in the box I opened today of 2007 Playoff Contenders Football. It was a hobby box. The video I shot when opening all the packs was too long for YouTube and I'm not able to upload that so I just have to do a recap here. I'm kind of disappointed with that but this is the first in a series of box breaks for the site and for my baseball card space on YouTube and we're going to be doing some box breaks next week hopefully from Don Russ because Don Russ is going to allow me to review some products for them on YouTube and I'm going to write some articles on them on the site as well we also do trivia contests at the site so if you join our community it's free when the trivia contests are on, some of these cards may be included in the trivia contest as well. The base cards will for sure, but I don't know about the autographs. We'll have to see on that. But you will be able to get cards free. I ship them free to the winners, and those contests will be starting January 2009. So check out www.mybaseballcardspace.info and join for free. Okay, so starting with the Playoff Contenders box in 2007. I, I got a good deal on it, so I was happy to open the box. It was a good price and everything. I got it on eBay as usual. I get a lot of my things on eBay. And I got some pretty neat stuff. So we'll start with this one here is a round numbers Adrian Peterson and Calvin Johnson. It's a rookie year for both of them, and it's serial numbered out of 1,000. No jersey number or anything, but it's a it's a pretty good card. It books fifteen dollars, and they're two of the top rookies, so that's a good one. A couple other the inserts were just Chris Collinsworth, Johnny Lee Higgins, and Steve Smith. Three different inserts. They're all numbered out of a thousand. Nothing too spectacular there. But then there are some good ones here, and. And I actually got a one of one in the first pack I opened, and that's the first one I've gotten out of a pack, so that was really good. I'll show you that one here. It's a Joey Harrington Championship ticket. So it's just a regular parallel, but it's unpriced in Beckett because it's a one of one. And there, if you can see the machine stamping there on the back, one of one. It's a true one of one. I try to look those up on eBay. There aren't too many of them on there. All of these cards are for sale, as are all of the cards that belong to me that are on the side. I like to sell them for full book value there. I think I would be looking for about 40 or 50 on that Harrington if anyone is interested. I have a long history of successful transactions on eBay, so there isn't any worry about my integrity as far as that. Now here are the autographs. First one that I got was Michael Bush, and I think that's the best of the four here. He's getting some playing time in Oakland. That's a nice autograph. It books 30 in the new Beckett Plus that I have here with Brett Favre and Adrian Peterson on the front. And the other three autographs are Kenneth Darby, Leon Hall, and Justin Durant. There are a lot of base cards and everything, too. Plenty of stars. Brett Favre, Tony Romo, Frank Gore, all of the good players there. And there are some other ones, but I don't have them here, so I'll have to show those later. I am going to follow up with a box break from 1986 Sport Flicks baseball cards. That's kind of random there. I don't see any of those on YouTube, so that'll be neat to put up there. And I got a case of those, so they're, they're fun to open. They have Jose Canseco rookie cards in there. I think they're fairly undervalued. I got a case for about 70 bucks. It's about six bucks a box. So I'm going to follow with one of those and make sure to visit www.mybaseballcardspace.info. It's a community with about 115 members. I'm the site administrator. I'd be glad to talk to you and answer any of your questions about cards and help you out if you have any questions. Oh, by the way, I got a NPN today from, from Donruss. I could show that. It's a 2008 Donruss Threads D Derek Ward. It's a hobby red parallel. It, it's, it books three times a normal card. It, so it's like a $1.50 or $2 card. It's my first NPN from Donruss. All I had to do was send in 
an envelope with a stamp and I got that card I'd be happy to show you all how to get cards like that to it if you want so check out our videos that are coming up I'll be having another box break with some 2008 product hopefully this next weekend I'm shooting for that and the sports slicks ones is coming up soon thank you very much bye bye